In today's video, we are going to be having two betting tips. The first one will be having 1.703 odds. The second one will have 1.719 odds. You must realize that in this video today, I'm going to be extremely brief and you're going to be receiving the very best, just like yesterday, Monday. Yesterday, Monday, we were in a position whereby we were lucky enough or, you know, guided by the gods. Uh, we won our bed slip 3.164 odds yesterday. All the three bed slips won. And, you know, there was one funny thing about yesterday's results. Cole Rain, Glento Run, we were sticking on a double chance on Glento Run. Uh, that is Glento Run to win or a draw to walk up. The match ended with a 0-0 scoreline. And then Hobro against Hille Road. It was also a double chance on Hille Road to win or a draw to walk up. The match ended at a 0-0 scoreline. And then we had Ruch vs. Radomiak from Poland. We were betting on Radomiak to win or a draw to Oka. And the game ended with a 0-0 scoreline. So it was a very funny scoreline that we recorded yesterday. Not every single day you are going to be witnessing three matches in a row in a single bet slip having the same scoreline. Anyway, we appreciate because to us that was a victory. And we look forward to having better results today, especially when we have the England FA Cup matches. And that being said, if it is your first time joining the Must Better or watching me, the Must Better, providing you these amazing football predictions, uh, these amazing betting tips, please, I want to urge you personally to ensure that you are clicking the subscribe button, turning on notifications and subscribing, joining this amazing family. You must realize that if you want to show support, uh, because showing support will allow us get, uh, uh, you know, better equipment to serve you better. So just go ahead and like the video, share it with a friend and subscribe. Now, in the first bed slip today, we are going to be having the game derby playing against Crew Alexander. In this particular game, you must realize that Crew Alexander, uh, they come into this match, especially having recorded poor form, poor records in FA matches. Uh, they are not really strong when they are playing at the FM uh, uh, level. And then they have also been eliminated uh, in the last seven out of FA matches they played. Uh, or in the last eight FA matches they played, uh, they were eliminated in seven out of eight. So that means that uh, they do not have the experience needed to go ahead and win the FA matches. And then today they are going to be facing a derby side that is walking into this match with better form. By better form, I mean that derby have been in a position to win uh, three out of their last four league matches. And uh, they have also been scoring highly in these particular matches. So you must also realize that derby county are favored by the home ground factor and their recent mastery when it comes to goal scoring. So I expect them to use this particular edge to get the three points to win against Crew Alexandra. And we are betting on Derby to be winning. Uh, the odd for that particular option is 1.343. In our second match that we are having today, we have the game Salford coming up against Peterborough. In this particular match, you must realize that Salford will be playing Peterborough in a rematch of their first leg of their first FA Cup in which I tended with a draw of 2-2. Two -two. Uh, it was a very tight game. It was a very tight game. If you go ahead and uh, rewatch the highlights, you will realize that. And then another thing that is evident is that both teams today are walking into this particular match on a goal-scoring form. Uh, they are scoring easily, especially for Salford. In their last three home matches, they have scored in all. And in all the three matches, they have recorded a combined uh, goal of seven. And then if you look at Peterborough on the other side, they have also scored in three... In all their three last away matches, and they have recorded a combined total of six matches, I mean of six goals. Now it's evident that uh, if we were to back uh, or if we had to predict the game using the recent form, it's going to be difficult to figure out who is the better team. So I think that the defining factor is supposed to be how both teams have been performing in the FA tournament, especially given that Peterborough have a better record in the FA tournament. They are rarely eliminated, especially when they are playing against teams from lower divisions. Especially in this game, you will realize that uh, I think they have proceeded in 10. 10 times they were playing against lower division side. And given that Salford is also coming from the lower division, I expect Peterborough to be in a position to get points or win this particular match. And given that Peterborough won their last game 5-0 and Salford lost their last home, their last match, which was also at home, they lost 2-1. I expect that 
Peter Bora going to be walking into this match with the needed motivation, needed morale to get at least a draw or a point. So the betting tip is Peter Bora to win or a draw to occur. And the odd for that particular option, the two matches combined, is going to be 1.719. The booking codes are available on the screen. Now in the second bet slip, we are going for the over market. But before I mention that, I must quickly remind you that if it is your first time, ensure that you are subscribing, turning on notifications, and watching this particular video till the very end. It's very much important for you to watch the video, you know, like the video, show your support, because without your support, there is no must better. So please do that. In our second game, we have the following matches. Accrington Stanley coming up against Doncaster Rovers. It's still from the England FA Cup tournament. It's an interesting game given that uh, the nature of the match. You know, if you are to go with a home win, away win, or a draw to occur, you will realize that both teams are somehow equals. And I really don't think that that is the best option to consider in this particular game. I think that the best option you're supposed to be considering is the over market. That is, uh, how many goals are going to be scored in this particular match. Given that into consideration, I expect the, goal, uh, the match to be having goals. And you're going to go for a... Uh, over two goals, over two goals, not over 2.5 goals. The order for over two goals is 1.30. And in our next game is also from England FA, that is York City coming up against Chester. In this particular game, I also think that the best market to consider is going to be the goal market, uh, given that the home win or away win or the draw market is also complicated and there is no clear favorite or team with an edge in that particular market. I think that uh, we are supposed to be betting on the over two goals market. If you are to consider the over two goals market, uh, this one also happened to be having 1.31 odds. You combine the two matches, you are getting a summation of 1.703 odds. I know by now you will be asking yourself, which matches am I supposed to be picking, preferring? It's upon you to decide that one. But I love the Derby uh, and the Peterborough slip. I also love this particular slip. Remember, it's over two goals, not over 2.5 goals. Over two goals mean that if goals are exactly two, you are going to be getting a refund. But over 2.5 goals mean that if goals are exactly two, you are going to be losing that particular bet slip. Now that wraps up this particular video. I think you guys are going to be finding the tips amazing. And ensure that you are subscribing, turning on notifications. I know very well I was supposed to share you basketball predictions yesterday night. Uh, but given that uh, uh, the state of the conditions, I could not share that particular basketball slip. Even though I predicted four matches, uh, the total odds was 3.43 for the basketball NBA that played yesterday night. All of them won luckily. And today, if I will be in a position to share the basketball games, I'll share them on YouTube. I really need to share them on YouTube. So ensure that you are turning on your notifications and joining our Telegram community at Real Must Better. The link is available on the pinned comment section. Uh, you really need to join because I'll be sharing instant updates in case there's a video posted on YouTube. You will get notified immediately on Telegram. That being said, I hope to be seeing you tomorrow, Wednesday, once again, when we'll be celebrating uh, the perfect results that we have recorded today. Until next time, stay responsibly. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share the video. And goodbye. Thank you.